Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial, Setting Up a Thin Client Workstation. It is not necessary to fully install Service Desk on every workstation in your office. If you have Service Desk installed on a server, you can set up a new workstation to access both the data and the program file from the server. To do so, the first thing you're going to do is map a network drive. Open up your Windows Explorer and choose Map Network Drive. Next, you'll want to browse to the location of your server. After finding your server, you're going to look for your SD folder install and choose it. When you're finished, you'll see your network drive show up in your Explorer just like these drives. The next thing you're going to do is go to the internet and go to Rossware's website. You'll then choose Downloads and Service Desk and enter your username and password. Next you'll want to choose System Files Installer. Once the download has completed, open it up and run the setup executable. Say OK to acknowledge this first message. The default directory will be your program files. This is typically where it should be. So unless you know for certain that you need to change it, go ahead and click on the computer icon. This warning is a standard warning alerting you to the fact that you have a newer Windows system file on your computer than the one that Service Desk has packaged. It's okay to keep your newer file. The only thing you're concerned about right now is for Service Desk to provide you with the files that you don't already have. So go ahead and click yes to keep your newer file anytime this message pops up. Now that we have the Windows system files installed that Service Desk needs to run, we're going to go ahead and go to our map drive and to our SD folder. And then we're going to find the Serve Desk executable. That's the Service Desk program file. Once you've found it, right click on it and choose Send To and then choose Desktop Create Shortcut. We now have a Service Desk shortcut on our desktop. We can go ahead and double click that to open Service Desk. Now, when you do a thin client setup, that means that all users access the exact same set of files. Service Desk has a folder in its build called LCL Data. It stands for Local Data and contains the unique user information for each user. In a thin client setup, we have to tell Service Desk each user's unique LCL Data folder. To do so, go to File Functions and then choose Settings. The shortcut is Control F1. Next, change your server drive path to your mapped path. Then click on the pink Set for Registry button. Verify that the information is correct, that the server location is right, in this case H, that the folder path is correct, and that the user's name is spelled correctly. And go ahead and say yes. And then say OK. And save local values. If we go back to File Functions and About Service Desk, 
We'll now see here where it says running from H, net file path is H, and local file path is H. That tells Service Desk that I am running thin client, my installation is on the H drive, my data is on the H drive, and my personal local data folder with my unique user information is now in LCL data underscore carry spate. This concludes this video setting up a thin client workstation.